Hello, you're tuned into daily coronavirus updates. This is The Wire and today is the 26th of May. The death toll due to COVID-19 rose to 4,167 in the country, while the number of cases climbed to 1,45,000. In the last 24 hours, 146 deaths were reported and 6,535 people contracted the virus. In terms of daily increase in the number of cases, India now ranks fourth after the United States, Brazil and Russia. Maharashtra continues to be the worst affected state with over 52,000 cases and over 1,600 deaths. Mumbai alone has over 31,000 cases, higher than any other state in the country. Over 16 lakh people in the United States have contracted the virus so far and over 98,000 have died. Brazil reported the highest number of fatalities in the world today. It recorded 807 deaths, which is more than United States, where 600 people died in a single day. Assam recorded its highest single-day spike. 156 people contracted the virus today, taking the total number of cases in the state to close to 500. With these new cases, the total number of COVID-19 infections has gone up to 548 in the state. According to a report published in the Indian Express, almost all of the new cases in Assam are people returning from other places or their direct contacts. A few other states in the region have also reported positive cases among their returning natives. Nagaland reported first three cases yesterday among people returning from Chennai. Manipur, which had just two cases earlier, has found over 30 people infected with the virus. Nearly all of them are returning migrants. Opposition leader Rahul Gandhi, while addressing the nation via video conference today, said that the purpose of the lockdown imposed to contain the spread of coronavirus has failed. He said that India is the only country where coronavirus is exponentially rising and we are removing the lockdown. He added that the opposition party, Indian National Congress, wants to understand from the ruling BJP what is the strategy to contain the virus going ahead. In a letter to all states and your territories today, the Director General of ICMR, Dr. Balram Bhargav, wrote that the earlier suggested upper ceiling of 4,500 rupees per test may not be applicable now, and that all state governments and union territory administrations are advised to negotiate with private labs and fix up mutually agreeable prices for samples being sent by the government and also for private individuals desiring of testing by these labs. It is unclear what the pricing will be, but state governments and UT administrations may come up with new pricing soon. The current price cap of testing samples for the novel coronavirus disease in private laboratories is Rs 4,500, which was fixed in March. Nurses at Kalra Hospital in Delhi's Saftarjung, where 46-year-old nurse Ambika PK had recently died due to COVID-19, have alleged that they were asked to reuse personal protective equipment including gloves and masks for the past two months. According to a report in the Indian Express, another nurse close to Ambika disclosed that on her last day on duty a week ago, she had raised the issue of non-availability of fresh PPE and masks with the nursing in charge. Doctors at the hospital had also objected to nurses wearing used PPE. Ambika succumbed to COVID-19 on the 24th of May. Meanwhile, nurses at the Kalra Hospital have decided not to go to work until adequate safety arrangements are instituted. Glenmark Pharmaceuticals has said that it will begin a clinical trial in India to test a combination of two antiviral drugs, favipiravir and umifenovir, as a potential COVID-19 treatment. The company said that the study will look to enroll 158 hospitalized patients suffering from moderate COVID-19 infections in India. Glenmark is already conducting clinical trials in India of just favipiravir as a potential treatment for COVID-19. The World Health Organization has suspended testing the malaria drug hydroxychloroquine in COVID-19 patients due to safety concerns. The WHO had previously recommended against using hydroxychloroquine to treat and prevent coronavirus infections except as part of clinical trials. Dr. Mike Ryan, head of the WHO Emergencies Program, said that the decision to suspend trials of hydroxychloroquine had been taken out of an abundance of caution. Hydroxychloroquine has been touted by world leaders like Donald Trump as a possible treatment for disease caused by novel coronavirus. The US president also said that he was taking the drug himself to help prevent the infection. That's all for today. Thank you for tuning in. You were listening to daily coronavirus updates from the 26th of May on The Wire. We will see you tomorrow. Until then, stay safe.